Another thing that MuseScore really helps us with is trying to figure out which direction our note stems should go in. So whenever we're working with minims or crotchets or quavers, we have these stems that go either up or down. And often it depends on which pitch of note that we want that defines whether it goes up or whether it goes down. You'll see that if I start writing some notes in from here and I go downwards, you'll notice that at some point, there we go with that A, the stems started going upwards instead of downwards. And there are some rules that dictate you know, whether the stems go up or whether the stems go down. Normally it's to do with whether the note in pitch is above or below the middle line of the stave. So with the B, which is the middle line of the stave, we can normally choose it, it can go either way. But once we get down here to an A, we need to send the stem in the opposite direction going upwards. This is normally the case, but sometimes we want to change that for some reason. Normally because it's easier to present multiple parts on the same stave if the stems for each part are going in different directions. And what we're gonna have a look at after this video is how we can start to include more than one part into a single line of music. But to really get to grips with that, we need to be able to artificially change the direction of our note heads. And that's really, really easy. We just use the X key or click this button up here. And what this does is it changes the direction that our stem is going in. So if for some reason we needed all of our note stems to go downwards, I can use the X key to start to make those changes. And what this does is it opens up the possibility to have multiple voices on the same staff.